ihe onye ama akare ihe onye ama na asia bia bia mana so we are bomb okay ma was our family and friends welcome to the woke nation our nation of factual truth where we feel free to share knowledge and spread the knowledge of factual truth without fear without favor and without fence we are we encourage us to live our life and live it well through the knowledge of factual truth because it's our life and we were born to live explore and enjoy life let no one deceive you or make life unbearable to you with the artificial stuff that people made up that has nothing to do with reality you need to face the reality no matter what because reality is not based on maybe one's perspective or one's opinion or one's idea or one's um, you know belief no as you know reality is based on fact which is called factual truth and that is the prevailing truth it prevails over every belief every faith spirituality religion so that's why i'm encouraging us to live humanly because humanity is based uh, is real it's not um maybe what you made up or this is how i want it to be no it is not your destiny is not your fate it's not your religion is not whatever you want it to be no it is what it is just like the things i want to share with us today these things are the things that i have seen they are using this to intimidate many people especially this is for african women and men it's not for foreigners it's for african women and men so if you are african pay attention but i'm not pressurizing you and also i want to ask you to you know if you are woke you know you can um, subscribe to my youtube channel woke nation tv okay if you want to okay because i find that uh, some people making money out of it and uh, they say like share subscribe you know notification all that okay it's okay i'm working and i don't buy the idea of ripping people or making money from people with all this bullshit because when it comes to the knowledge i'm sharing it is free and the knowledge is supposed to be free of charge i'm not disabled i am able i'm not depending on any god i'm not depending on anyone i'm living my life and i still have strength to walk and i am working so whatever i find myself I do what I need to do to live my life humanly. Okay, so I'm sharing on marriage, children, negative and positive. These four things. And if you listen, you will hear the truth I will tell you about that factual truth that many people, especially those educated, those spiritual, those religious people will not tell you because they limit themselves their belief or their training or their qualifications or their degrees uh, have uh, stopped them from going beyond belief or beyond what is written i am not limited by what is written i'm not limited by what is believed i'm not limited by what is practiced i'm not limited by what is taught as i have been telling you you are greater than your thoughts you are greater than your words you are greater than your actions you need to know yourself you are unlimited and anything that limits you like spirituality religion politics and uh, all those laws and commandments and the principles and rules that people made up people made it up so if people made it up people can break it up and people can replace them you can do better okay so let me start with marriage. Uh, Igbo people say that uh, the God that owns the woman 
is the man that married her. That means if you know what uh, people go through in a place like Africa to marry a woman, then you will understand what it means and you understand why it's expected from that woman to be submissive, whether she likes it or not. Okay, so, but I don't buy that idea telling me that uh, the God that owns the woman is the man that married her. A woman does, shouldn't be owned by any man and no man should be owned by any woman. We are not products. We are not slaves to be bought. But that's what marriage is all about. If you, many of you we insist, no, it's not. It depends on it. No, it's not. It is what it is. The real thing marriage is, is slavery. No matter how you try to make it, no, in my own time it's different, or you, are, you want to do certain, certain things to make it different. Mm -mm. Let me check this on Ari. Because marriage is not African term, but many Africans think it's African term. See what dictionary talk about marriage, say about marriage. Say, marriage is a legal union, not a natural union. Marriage is not African traditional union. It's not. Africa never have marriage. We have what was called African family structure. We had family. Before these people brought tribe, brought marriage, brought slavery, they brought many things that that's why it's not working for Africans because it's not part of Africans. Africans are natural people, not spiritual people, not religious people, not political people, not all these confused people. They made us through they are evil means. It's a illegal union between two persons. Do you hear that? That confess that I mean that confers certain privileges and 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 entails certain obligations of each person to the other. Formally restrict, restrict, restricted in the United States to a union between a man and a woman. Not even from God, but you know, they put in the Bible that God, the God made it a man and a woman bullshit. So it's a, a similar union you know, of more than two people. They call it a polygamous marriage. In Africa, never have polygamous marriage as they call it. African, when you talk about polygamous family, it's one man having multiple wives and, or one woman having multiple husbands. African didn't have that. It's not African thing. Africans had what they call or what they call in English in English people call it uh, it's not our word polygyny that's what they that's one man having multiple women okay see I didn't say wife multiple women but Africa one man don't have a woman or women no a woman is integrated into the family the woman that comes into that family become part and parcel of that family. She's not a stranger there, but a marriage, a woman is a stranger. A marriage, a woman is wife. A marriage, a woman must be submissive. Like they put it in their Bible, they say that the wife must be submissive to her own husband in everything. Whether she like, there's no wife don't have any grand in marriage. So that, you see what is happening like with this uh, Hakimi uh, divorce uh, case, you know, you see why many people are talking about it because the guy plays smart game on and about that. He knew what he was doing before. My, my woman said maybe, you know, she already have that account with her mother before she, he even married the woman. But think about that. How can a woman fight for a divorce without knowing first? You know, how do man has been saving the money? But somebody put it, he said that you know, the guy was giving the mother maybe at 70 or 80 percent of the of the money, but the other percentage he used it to take care of the family. So he was living well, he knew what is going on. I remember he's a Muslim guy, remember? Okay, so and the woman is older than him. Think there are things that happens, people will not consider all the areas involved, they just, you know, jungle justice, especially Africa, our court system, everything in Africa is jungle justice. So even if they say they're going to the, the court of the law, blah, 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 it's still jungle justice. They come without thorough investigation, they sentence you, they do whatever. 
So the guy plays Mato one and two because um, normally the Belize when they split is so almost always a man's stuff they will divide. But I think in America also they divide the women's stuff. It depends on how much you are making. Some women are paying child support or alimony in America too. So but you know in a place like Africa. No, some men don't want to, even a woman pay for their meal, a woman pay for their rent. No, unless, okay, give me the money, I pay it so that people will think I'm the one paying it. That's nonsense. Most men that build a house, I mean, some men that live in abroad, that building house in Africa, it is a woman that is making the money for them in America, like a place in America. Of course, the woman will get better job or easier than man like that. They will hire the woman before the man like that, that it don't it depends on the job. But I'm talking about like all this like nursing and all that where people make money like that. So there are things men don't want to hear that you know a man did such thing or blah blah. Had it been it was Hakin Hakini Hakini if I'm pronouncing his well well. Had it been it was his words that was split into fifty but nobody will make any noise. Nobody will talk sh shit. It's because it's the woman it's affected. <laughs> and it's another woman there, which is the mother. And you know, many people have issues about mother and the, and the daughter-in-law, which is also in their religious book. These things are the things religion brought to us. And that's why I'm encouraging those that know, those that say they are woke Africans, are working Africans, whatever happens, always use them to spread the knowledge of factual truth like this one or any incident that happens around you we are happy today to have smartphone internet we are even in your own street the things that used to be hidden you can see it now you see that uh is it the, the lama what he's been doing all those evil things in the secret before all this phone come out all the internet come out he has been doing all these spiritual people they're doing all those atrocities you see the reverend fathers molesting boys and girls everywhere they have been doing that, but these days we have all these devices we can use to record them and spread it all over the world for people to see and force some of them to resign or apologize. Before they will apologize for what? Did you have even some, some, some people today, when you show them the video where that person is committing that atrocity, they will still say, No, it's doctor, it's doctor, no, it's not true, it's not true, it's not the real thing. So don't mind them, just keep saying the real thing you know. That's what matters. So you, you need to know that when it comes to marriage, it's about ownership. And the woman is not the owner in marriage, it's the man. The man owns the woman, the man owns the children. And that's why like a place in Africa where we are practicing that marriage, they force on us, a man is made to go through a lot to marry. Do you know why? So that when he consider what he went through to marry, he will not even think for divorce. Some of them give in to alcohol, being alcoholic or fucking whoever they want uh, uh, like that. You know, so understand that especially you African women, stop being intimidated or mocked by, oh, you are not married at your age. I see the one stupid guy, Igbo guy, made a, a, a video about one of my trans uh, women, Ebu Benwabo, is a Hollywood uh, actress, you know? So he, she, he said, what is happening in Hollywood? How did he, he's, over, he's about 40 years and she's not married. She got money. She don't, she open, she don't dress naked. She don't open her, her, her boobs, her, her ass, shaking it and lying. Yes, yeah, she's not married, blah, 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 blah. Because that is nonsense. Our people believe that marriage is an achievement. It's not. It is slavery. You were not born to get married. You were born to fuck. That's why you were born with that organ already. You didn't grow up to have it. It's there. They always intimidate. You see, especially mothers, intimidating their own daughters, pushing them, go marry, go marry, give me your grandchildren, go marry. No, they push their sons. Go marry, go marry, give me grandchildren. Stupid people. Then how many children do you have? If you like grandchildren like that, there is no way nature says this is how many children you will have. You're supposed to be born in children until you go to grave as a woman. You're supposed to be fucking and getting pregnant, having children until you go to grave. That's how it's supposed to be, naturally. But today, 
they are th they think because they use this spirituality and religion to make it be like oh if you're not married it's a curse if you if you don't have a man it's a curse if you don't have a woman it's a curse how can you excuse me what are you saying marriage is why we have prostu pros uh, prostitution marriage because this marriage of one man one wife of course uh, when Judah, when the wife of Judah died, what did Judah do in the Bible? He went for her lot, prostitute. That's what it came, it comes, it came with marriage. But you Africans, because you don't even try to find the origin of things they give to you or they taught you, you just believe it. Because maybe, so especially when he's giving you some privilege over people, over others, you think, oh, now you can make money, you have car, you have house, you have this, you have that. You think, no, you're not. You're still stupid. You're still a slave. Marriage is slavery, ownership. The man owns the woman and the children. You can argue all you want, but the, all this thing happening, you say, oh, well, how about the divorce? Marriage also comes with divorce. Some of you will be against that. Well, why die? Well, why not? Because of nonsense somebody wrote. And you want somebody to die in that what you call marriage? Come on. Wake up, my people. Understand what marriage is. And you will see that this life is not what they taught us to be. Or taught us to be about it. Hmm. Many are proud of being slaves. Many are proud of their slavery. Many are proud of their suffering. And they think that is where it should be. And if you are not in that way, if you're not buying that way, oh, they begin to call you and they begin to say some stupid things. Marriage is not a natural thing. Nobody was born to marry. You say you were born to marry. Oh, you are looking for your missing rib because you believe the nonsense they wrote. A woman coming from a, ma a man's rib. You believe that nonsense. And they tell you her desire must be upon her husband. You know, she, she must do whatever. That, that's nonsense they wrote. Now, when a woman makes some money and begin to flex her own muscles. No, 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 you shouldn't do that. Femina, oh, you, you hate me. You hate like you hate. No, no, no. The reason why a woman is submissive to you is because you provide them for her. Did I, I haven't, haven't I said that to you? When you are saying a woman is submissive to you, it's because you are providing for her. If you don't provide, you see, you are providing for a woman, a woman find out you are impotent, you cannot get her pregnant. She will look for somebody secretly to get her pregnant and she will be there submitting to you, but you are, she, she know you don't. Some of you men are, cannot impregnate a woman. Your wife or your woman already know that. And that's why they are simply around to get it. Because if they tell you, you will even divorce them for opening their mouth to say that. You chase them away. I'm not impotent. Ah, I can get pregnant. How do you know that? <laughs> How do you know that? But I'm here to open your eyes. Stop being proud of your suffering. You know how you are suffering in that relationship, in that marriage. And you call it marriage. Okay, let me be managed. When I was a believer, I used to preach, you know, marriage is not marriage. Many people are managing and they call it marriage. But marriage is bullshit. We manage things, whatever we have. Marriage is a slavery business where the man is the owner of the wife and the children. The man is the master, head of the household. It's only in America. Maybe when you want to fight fast, of course, if you are a single woman, you, you can claim head of household. Of course, that's what it's supposed to be because you're taking care of yourself. It's your household. A woman can buy house or build a house in America, living her life well without even being married. I have a co-worker. She don't want to have a baby. She don't want to get married. That's her life. Before I used to pressure her until I found out, okay, no, 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 you are even better. And it's even in the Bible. <laughs> how can you be, be you know, you, you know this thing, this is how it goes. And you enter it like you close your eyes. No, if I marry in America here, I know it may end in divorce. It's not, it's, it must not last. That is the system. It has nothing to do with the man and the woman in that relationship or marriage. No, it is the system. And that's how it goes. If you don't know, you'll be blaming the man or the woman. It's not. 
Many, some men has gone to Nigeria and marry a woman, bring them to America. They end up divorced or the woman kick, her, kick him out of the house. He even labor to buy. But it's not the woman. It is the system. And some of them, it is not even the woman. It is her family members that is in Africa engineering her to do some stupid things that make the man be like, listen, no matter what, I don't want this woman anymore. It's happening, but they won't tell you what I'm telling you. They want to paint it because they want your money. They want your like. They want you to be following them. When you, after hearing from me, they run away. Because when you speak the factual truth, they will run away. Whether they are spiritual people, they will look at look at the people I used to have. My my this my profile used to be up to five more than five thousand. You know, you can't exceed five thousand. But when I be, when I when I left Christianity. It dropped. Now I find that people are no longer following or liking or sharing my stuff. No problem. Then I, I say also even spirituality, boom, oh, it dropped more. And daily I am unfriending people on this profile. This profile is Zanwa Hamifne. Is I'm um, on every day. People that are talking about God, talking about bullshit. I maybe some of them I try to a reason with them, I found out, no, they, they are dedicated to that, their stupidity or their illusion. I just unfriend them, so I block them when they begin to rant. But understand that human being must not marry. You were not born to marry. Marriage is a strange thing to humanity. It's not part of humanity. In marriage, you men buy women. That is slavery. And that's why originally men don't wear wedding ring or marriage ring. It was women that used to wear it. It's not men. Many things about marriage you don't know, but do you know what is called um, uh, fork? It was in theological school they taught me that, but fork, F U C K, fornication, under the consent of the king. That's part of marriage, where it came from in Europe. Before you're married, you sleep with the woman you say you want to marry. She must be a virgin and the king must first sleep with her. Unless the king don't want to sleep with her, he's just okay. That's why it's called folk fornication under the con consent of the king. The king must approve it for you to sleep with that woman. I hear some people do that, still do that, maybe in their region or church. You know, the man of God have to approve the, who you are marrying. Bullshit. But know that. Also, every woman, I mean, every woman must not marry and every man must not marry. We were not born to marry. Then the second one I, I want to talk about is children. Every woman must not have children. Children is something that come as a result of sex. It has nothing to do with anyone because you have power this, you have that. No, maybe the reason why you, have, you are impotent or you cannot impregnate a woman is to save you from trouble of having children. And you think, no, is it a, the reason, you don't know that. Some of you, you see some women, I think my woman shared that to me, I think I saved it, I will share it later. She said, I think it's a Nigerian woman or something like that, a Yoruba woman. You know, she said she had been waiting to have children for 49 years. Now she's pregnant. So she's waiting to have this baby. So on his 50, 50th uh, year birthday, birthday, she will celebrate it. She died before she became 50 years old because of that pregnancy. Many women have lost their lives giving birth to a child. They, it's not among women. And because how they taunt women or how they mock women, you see women accepting that sort of suffering. You know the, the pain of childbearing? It's in America, you see some reasonable woman that will tell you, I don't want to have a baby because of the pain. Yes, they have seen it, they learn from it, they say, I don't want to have that experience. It doesn't make them bad. No, it doesn't. It's their, it's their life. Also, there's this one they share uh, on our uh, WhatsApp group. You know, a girl that was shaking her ass online and, um, you know, as our people call it, half naked. He said the father invites her, her home and they call her siblings, the who have flogging her mercilessly. Say, see, stupid thing. 
when I saw that, I said, this woman, this lady is supposed to have a gun and go and kill all those people that were flogging her like that, pouring water on her, flogging her, and she was even calling, calling her mother. Her mother cannot show, because they will not even allow the mother to show up. Men doing that, it's not their body, it is her body. And she was born naked, now you are against her, exposing the body she was born with. She, you were not born to wear any clothes. And the flock men, all the laws you see, women are suffering under today, we are made by men, not by women. Women are not the ones that made law for themselves. I've seen somebody that claimed to be awakened Africans, and she said that not we are not the one that subdue, subdue, subdue women, subjugate women, even nature subjugated women. It's a lie. A woman having period have nothing to do with sub, subjugation, having pain, child delivery, it's not, it's natural thing. But that's how they see it. A woman's body is far better than your own body because that body naturally cleanses herself or itself. Your body don't do that. And the little pain you have, even to pee, a man stand up to pee. <laughs> you contact little gonorrhea and you are, <laughs> pus is coming through, <laughs> you crying. But a woman will carry that baby for nine months, some of them more than nine months. All the pain she's bearing them. You cannot even stand the pain a woman bears. And you think, oh, no, yeah, a man is above woman. No man is above woman. And no woman. And those of you that are telling me, you say you're above your mother. The same mother that carried you, you're above your mother? Okay, so you are goose. Maybe the goose load inside container is greater than that container. It's a lie. That container is for me. That goose will fall to me. <laughs> you know. Stop thinking you are greater than women or you're wiser than a woman or bullshit. No. And that's how they subjugated women and women are dying. Then having these children. Every human being must not have children. No. Some will say, oh, because they don't have. Oh, because they have only one. That's nonsense. When I was living in Nigeria, I said, if I live in Nigeria, I will have only two child or two children. Then I say, if I come to America, I will have four. When I came to America, I found out why even the rich men in America don't have more than, most of them don't have more than one. And okay. Imagine somebody like our, our President Obama. Oh, he, had, she, he had only two daughters. Imagine if Obama is an evil man. Eh? He will marry either more women to, or sleeping with all those young girls because he don't want to offend his wife. So you'll be sleeping outside to even the family members will bring in their women for young young women for him to impregnate them. He must have a son. No, I'm the firstborn in my in our family, a family of nine children. And I don't care about having a son. I say, I rather now, I rather die childless than have a baby that we go to all this school nonsense that teaching or in this system after I know what I know now. Come on, as a Christian, maybe I say I will have two and the four. But no, as a work person, it's useless for you to have children in this type of condition you are in because you are still slaves. Mm. Listen, marriage is not an honor to a, a woman. Just as children are not an honor to parents, they are natural things. You see some parents, they try to intimidate other people with their children. My children is this, my children is that. You see, you are celebrating your problem. It's your problem. And that's why you, for example, you don't have many children like that, and somebody is bragging to have many children. Then when their problem comes, you, you're running around to help them? No. You, okay, it's your problem. Okay, carry it. You, you are bragging. And after they make it, you think, oh, hey. Uh, my children has made it. Your children is not making it. Now they are giving you headache. You want me to pity you? No, because I know what you will do tomorrow with them against me. Children are not an honor to parents. Stop using them to disturb others or uh, make others feel inferior where you are. Not me. I've not. It's not only one woman I've gotten pregnant in my life. I've known my experience. So what are you talking about? There's not that. No type of life you will tell me now you're experiencing that I have not experienced except gay life. Apart from gay life, 
from younger age have been trying to enjoy life in every level, whether with money or without money. I want you to know that joy um, or, and the sorrow of motherhood is crazy thought. Oh, the joy of motherhood. Some of them think it's a cause. You will never know the joy of motherhood. You don't need to know the joy of motherhood. The life, you have the joy of life. It has nothing to do with children. It has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with house. It has nothing to do with marriage. The joy of life is all you need. Are you happy? I remember in those days when I came to America, I, I see one guy, the way he, he toasts women, especially married women, he will start with. When, when he toasts, the, the woman say, I am married. The, man, the guy will just ask the, ask the woman, are you happy? Most women are not happy in their marriage, and that's why they, 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 that's how the man used to get them. Are you happy? Of course, there is no man and woman that's living together that are not having issues. And they don't know what is going on in her head. And this man now is opening the, uh, are you happy? No. She will not say, I'm not happy. She will be like, oh, oh yeah, see, yeah, yeah. Then you will see. She will, okay. That's how she will fall. But many of you will not say that truth. Listen, there is no, when you're talking about joy of motherhood, that's bullshit. It's bullshit. Quit joy. That's why they tell you, oh, you know, it's in the Bible. When a woman is pregnant, expecting a child, uh, she's, uh, she's having sorrow. But when she have that child, you know, she forget all her sorrow. That's what they want you to be doing. Forget what? You forget all your sorrow. You cannot, it is not something you should forget. It's something you should always bear, in, in bear I don't like to use it like bear in mind. Always know that this thing exists. This is what will happen. It's not a cause. It's in their book, they tell you it's a cause. But it's not. It's a natural thing. And women have ability to do that. Just as men have ability to impregnate a woman. A man cannot carry a child. And a woman cannot impregnate a man. He, he did not make a woman lesser than the man. And he did not make the man above the, uh, 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 higher than woman. Or well, uh, uh, stronger than the woman. No. If you're talking about who is stronger, it's supposed to be woman. Who carried that baby with all that pain? Push, push, push. And she's doing all that. You can't even push ordinary urine. Especially sometimes when you drink a lot of water, you know how the urine <laughs> baby, you run into bathroom to go and pee. Sometimes before you get there, you already drop some. Because it's <laughs> but the woman carried this for months. Then you have the mothers because we have succeeded in using war. And all these laws and commandments to subjugate women. Imagine if a woman was trained from birth, you know, to see herself as lion, as a strong person. Yeah, she will do a strong thing just like the same way men do that. A woman, as a woman, don't let anyone intimidate you again with, oh, you don't, you are not married, or you don't, you are married, but you don't have a child. That's nonsense. Tell them you don't need marriage. And at least you can even buy a child. Mm -hmm. But before, we, our people think uh, children, people are looking for children. Rich people are looking for children. They don't see. You born children, you, you born a child, you go and throw them away. Or you, you kill them. Of course, if it's a problem, what do you expect? If they abandon the woman and she put to bed, what do you expect her to do? It's not in America where they have a place they will tell you, oh, no, come, we take care of you. Bring the baby, don't worry. But back home, your parents send you out of the house, the whole community, they talk bullshit against you. But you see all those reverend, you know, those uh, ministers of God, when their, uh, children, uh, their daughter take in without marriage, they send them a far away place to go and do abortion. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> and you think the Lord is good. Quit nonsense. Stop being intimidated by all those naive people that will be talking nonsense, mocking you for not being married or for being childless. It's better to be childless than to have children in poverty, poor children. Many of you are doing the nonsense you are doing today because your parents were poor, born you in poverty. Many people have died in prison, died in ocean because they are trying to make, their parents did not provide for them. They didn't. Some of them still went to steal, they killed them. 
How about them? All those people in prison now, are they not people's children? Think about that. Before you fall for the nonsense they're talking, think for yourself. Use your own brain. Think for yourself. If you can think for yourself, they cannot cajole you. No, they cannot. You learn it from comedians. You know, comedians mock themselves before they mock others. And everybody like, ha, 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 ha. And they make big bugs out of it. Learn. There are things you're supposed to fortify yourself against. So you are prepared. When they come, they shoot one, you shoot 100. They say, man, leave that guy. For example, no one can come before me, try to intimidate me with anything. Oh, you don't have this. You don't have that. You are living in America. What are you achieving? What are you doing for your people? Idiots. What did my people do to me? Do for me? Tell me. You won't tell me that one. And that is what is killing Africa today. We have government that are running our land, yet they expect you to go to America, Europe, um, uh, Asia, or whatever, uh, outside Africa, to make money and come and invest in home. Why can't we use what we have uh, in our own land? Nonsense. Listen. It's a stupid prank. I call it a stupid prank. When you mock a woman, especially a woman, for not being married or for not having a child, that's a stupid prank you are making. And that's for stupid people. No wise person will do that. You're not married, and so what? Sometimes a prostitute is better than a wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No obligation, obligation. You know, you must do this. You must do that. But with prostitute, how much they talk? Okay, you have fun. Everybody go their way. She get pregnant. That's her business. So some of you that have slept with prostitutes like me, you don't know how many children you have out there. <laughs> even though, even if they are not prostitutes, if you have been sleeping with different women, you don't know how many children you have. You don't know. Okay. Because some women will not tell you they have the, ch the child or the children that hide it from you. They don't want you to have anything to do with them. So we shouldn't be condoning all those stupid things that people say because of marriage or ch children that is rooted in spirituality and religion, all that nonsense. That's why they believe it is God. See somebody that married, they say, God, give me a good wife. No, God, no, it's not any God. You are the one that went and married her. They have children. They say, God, give them children. No, you have access to have those children. Children are natural things that don't define any human being. Whether you, you, that you have a child doesn't make you a better woman or human. You are human, whether you have a child or not. So live humanly. Also know that uh, children hmm. <laughs> listen to this one because this one also i will go to bible to show you where they put it there now ch children some some children like children have in a harsh condition or children i thought i wanted to know that children are problem or trouble in a harsh condition Having children in harsh condition, you are having trouble. You are creating problem. You are not having solution. You are not creating solution. You are adding to the problem. When you read Matthew chapter 24, verse 19, what does it say? Let me, let me read it. Matthew 24, verse 19. Matthew, who never existed. Uh, chapter nine, chapter 24, verse 19. Hear what it says. Remember what I'm saying. Don't burn children in a harsh condition. You are burning problem. Verse 19, right? He said, he said, but woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days. Christians, they are Bible. He said, woe to those women who are pregnant and those women who are nursing babies in those days. Harsh condition. No. Isaiah chapter 65. Because I try to always show you old and new lives for you to understand. They put for you there. 
The Old Testament is old lie. The New Testament is the new lie. Mm -hmm. uh, 65. Isaiah 65, verse 23. Hear what it says. He said, they shall not labor in vain. Hear what he said. Nor bring forth children for trouble. Now, when you read the whole place, you hear what they, where they say, those that don't obey, obey God's commandment, they will labor in vain and they will bring forth children for trouble. Children doomed for disaster. That's what you are having when you have children in slavery, when you have children in harsh condition. You think you are doing them well, you send them to school. I've been saying that. It's a child abuse for you to send your little child or little children to school. They're not supposed, school is supposed to be for well-grown adults who can question what they hear. But you send your little children where they flog them, they torture them, they, they call it discipline. When they torture them, they force them to accept lie as truth. For example, where I was born, they beat me up to say um, and 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 uh, uh, to believe and say Mongo Park discovered the River Niger, where our people were taking birth, fishing, taking care of themselves. Now a white man is the one that discovered it for us. And many of you grew up with that lie, still holding it as professor, as presidents, as governors, people in authority. Hmm. Know this. Childlessness is, or childless person is far better than having children doomed to disaster. Quote me. And your life is an example. Some boys that went to steal and they caught them and burned them to death alive. Those are children whose parents gave birth in harsh condition. They couldn't take care of those children. They have those children, and those children are trying to make. That's why we should stop killing them. Because you shouldn't blame those children. They want to have what they're supposed to have, which their parents failed to provide for them, but burn them. And they see other children having it. The children their parents can provide for, but then they say they, their parents cannot. So what do you expect them to do? And you won't give to them because they don't belong to your rank or they don't belong to your uh, whatever system you, you, you believe in. Then they still kill them, kill them. But those ones that use <laughs> gun or pen to steal, you, you say, no, no, no. They are God's servants. They are, they are serving us. They are civil servants. No, they are civil thieves. So let me talk about negative and positive because this is another area that many of us, especially Africans, or those, those that say they are working Africans, still don't get it. Stop talking or kicking against negativity. Negative is not bad and it's not against positive. Negative and positive work together. I learned this in electric, um, electrical uh, institution or something like that, or training. The electric you have today, when you uh, uh, turn this uh, uh, turn this switch on, the, the light comes, is because of the power of negative and power of positive. Both of them we are connected together. Then they have the third wire they call natural wire or earth conductor. Now that one take whatever shock it take it to the earth as protection, and nobody talk about that. You keep talking about negative. And the positive. How about the natural conductor? I'm talking about thoughts because that's what they talk or energy. You say, no, I don't want any negative energy, especially when you want to correct them for their error. They call it negative energy. You tell them the factual truth, negative energy. Keep your belief with yourself. I don't want such negative energy today. And that's why your life is miserable because you are holding on to positive and, and ignoring negative. Your life if you want your life to be electrifying, if you want, want your life to be great, learn how to you know, connect your negative and positive thoughts. Do you, what you, so, sometimes what you call positive is not even positive thought. But that thing you are calling negative thought, learn from me what, the, you need the positive thought and the negative thought for your life to be electrifying. Learn it from electric field. 
if you care to. Negative and positive conductors or wires, or I call them TORs, we electrify your life. Learn how to connect them. That's all you need to. If you don't know how to connect them, other electricians will be ripping you off. Uh, they say sometimes your television, it was the cable that pulled out of the um, wall bracket, but you don't know. Then you say, my television is not working. I've done everything, but you did not check the wire. Then they come in, they, those uh, smart uh, technicians, they come in, they already see the fault. They know, they see, they realize, they tell you, don't worry, I will fix it. And they begin to play around. You think they're fixing anything, they know, they have a plan. You say, put it on, like, oh, it's working, yeah. <laughs> That's how negative and positive works. And it is your life. Think about it. Those negative thoughts, they are powerful also, just as positive thoughts are powerful. Learn how to connect them, to live your life. It is your life. Stop looking for somebody else to define your life, to tell you the direction of your life. You don't, oh, what is, this is your purpose for living. No, you don't have. Human beings, humanity have no purpose for living, but to live. What is my purpose? No, you don't have any different purpose from myself. No, we have single way life to live, and this life is natural. We're supposed to live it humanly, not what they made us to believe it is. No, you need to know that you whatever is of life is has not come to destroy you. It comes to make you live your life. That's why you need knowledge. Knowledge is spring. You don't need belief. You don't need faith. Think about it. Okay? At least learning from electrical power is like natural power. The electrical power is, has nothing to do with spirituality or religion. It's natural. You connect both of them, light comes on. It brings great light. That's the result of negative and positive thoughts. If you want to see the powerful life you have, or the powerful life you are, you just learn how to connect your negative and positive thoughts together. And your life will keep shining. No devil can stop you. No God can stop you. Negative is not bad and is not against positive. Knowledge and understanding will make you wise. That's what you need to understand this about marriage, about children, about negative, about positive. Knowledge will always put you ahead. Gordon.